my love of food, having having been you know brought up in a setting where uh, a meal was always a cultural experience, both in my grandmother's house and my parents' apartment. My my mom and uh, dad are, were always great cooks, and there was always a passion for cooking. So. Um, Throughout graduate studies and uh, thereafter, my other uh, hobby or, or passion was uh, design and uh, interior design. I, I did, uh, you know, some um, major uh, apartment designs and renovations. I actually built a house from scratch uh, that I uh, initially lived in, and then you know, it, it, it became a bit of a business. So that was the other side of, of me uh, doing things uh, with my hands and, and loving to cook. So when the time was right, I did have, I guess, an epiphany that, that kind of joined those two things in, in, in my head at the time at least. And uh, I decided that I will open a restaurant one day when, when the time is right. She had aside from being an amazing cook and, uh, and baker, she had run a, a hotel and a restaurant in Slovakia after uh, having graduated from college. So she was always in the hospitality business. So when, uh, you know, uh, after I uh, finished my graduate school stuff and we were debating which route to take our careers in which direction rather, uh, we very much wanted to start our own business, so she has an, a, a degree in economics in Slovakia and when uh, debating whether to get a job or, or do our own thing, we definitely wanted to do our own thing. So she pursued her hospitality uh, studies, if you will, further. She went to the Institute of Culinary Education where uh, she got a diploma both as a chef and a restaurant manager. And, uh, you know, I designed my restaurants hands-on and uh, we uh, collaborate on the menus, we run it, we don't have managers, this is what we do. So uh, I think it was a very organic transition from doing what we love and having had experience in different facets of it and uh, doing it.